Wow, this is great. Lovely spotlight. I'm in the big time. This is beautiful. I told you I'm celebrating my birthday. I'm going to pick up from there. I'm 60 and I'm having, I told you specifically, Mike, I'm having issues with my body. Now that we're in the risque portion of the program, I can tell you the risque things on my body. Mike is like, you know, I've been waiting for those. I suffer from P-H-D-O. That's a 60-year-old affliction, Mike. I hope it doesn't happen to you. You get to live to be my age. P-H-D-O, girlfriend. Because at 60 years old, you've been making love. You could have pulled hamstring during orgasm. Oh, oh! I be coming and going at the same goddamn time. It's rough getting 60. Another, there's a laugh behind there. What the hell is going on? Who's back there? I suffer from the other one. That, Hello? Power switch? Hello? Power switch? Oh, did it come unplugged there? No, I just Oh. Jiggle it? Okay, there it is. I know what you guys were thinking. Black guy from Oakland fucks up everything. I know you were all collectively thinking that. And thank you, dear. That was so you came to my rescue. He didn't move a muscle. He's like, fuck him. Thank you. You're a humanitarian, ma'am. I don't know you, but I love you. So the other one I suffer from is M-T-A-F. What's your name, sir? Ron. Ron. It's a 60-year-old affliction, Ron. M-T-A-F. Because at 60 years old, you can never trust a fart. Them lying motherfuckers. You ever farted and liquid came up? Oh, goddamn. I'm going to have to bury these drawers. I got more skins in my drawers than an East Oakland side show. I'm just saying, it's rough getting 60. Another one I suffer from, and this is the worst one. What's your name, bro? Andre. Andre, this is the worst one, Dre. I hope it don't happen to you, because I know you're way younger than me. I hope this don't happen to you. You live to be 60. I suffer from PPDP. Mike is laughing already. It's a cold one. Mike. Mike might have this already. P P D P Ron. Post piss dripping penis. It never stops dripping. No matter how much you shake it, drip, 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 drip. You get your stuff and you put it back in your pants. Drip, 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 drip. I shook it out so hard and long one time I tore my rotator cuff. Drip, 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 drip. I used to lay in the wet spot after sex. Now I just lay in the wet spot. Drip, 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 drip. I told him, my wife was like, the faucet is dripping. No, baby, that's my dick. Drip, 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 drip. None of this is true. These are all jokes. And ladies, y'all looking, y'all. I got a friend, 67. She got some little old lady affliction. Not the 67 at all, but her body's fell in her too. Her name is Charlotte. She in Arizona. Charlotte got an affliction at 67, Mike. And I hope none of you ladies get this. It's a rough one, ladies. But if you live to be 70 or older, ladies, you might suffer from D-A-F-P. Ron is looking like, what the hell is it? D-A-F-P. It's a 70-year-old lady affliction. Dry ass fucking pussy. Dry, 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 dry. dry. Pussy so dry, she opened her legs and smoke signals came out. Dry, 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 dry. She had a hundred Indians in her driveway thinking it was a powwow. Dry, 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 dry. She opened her legs and bow weevils from deserted towns and westerns came out. Dry, 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 dry. Pussy so dry, Moses walked out with a staff thinking he was in the desert. Dry, 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 dry. <laughs> That's true. That's not a joke. All righty, got anybody? <laughs> These kids are spoiled. I was talking about kids. Grew up in the 70s, the greatest time to grow up, greatest TV shows, greatest music. These little spoiled ass kids. They got iPads, computers. They got all these freaking computers and iPhones and all this shit. Mike, we didn't have no technology growing up. Dear, we had to use our imagination. You know what I have for technology, Mike? I had two tin cans and a string acting like it was a fucking walkie-talkie. Can you hear me? No, I can't. 
And then they got John Madden football. Every year they get a new version. The players jump, they dive, they spin, they talk to you. You know what we had growing up, Rob? We had that bullshit electric football. Remember that? The players get stuck and stay in the same spot. And we played board games, damn it. We had operation, remember that? Yeah, you'd be shaking like a nervous crackhead trying to get that good phone out. Up. Those were the good old days, damn it. Now I got this new chick, Alexa. I got this girl, you know, because I'm an old school cat. Like, I got a rotary dial phone at the crib, you know what I mean? So I got Alexa, because everybody's getting Alexa. So I said, I'm a girl from Oakland. I'm a trick Alexa. I'm going to come up with some new shit. So I was like, hello, Alexa. How are you? I am fine. What can I do for you? Alexa, tell me what year I played for the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> You never played for the Golden State Warriors. I want to see if people remember the Google League. Okay, right, right, right. Alexa, how do I get to the Opera House? Take 101 Fail Street, go 250 feet, make a right, and the Opera House is adjacent on your left. Cool. Alexa, how about a blowjob tonight? You are rude and obnoxious. <laughs> Hey, but Mike, I got a new app. Mike, it's dope, man. It's going to blow Alexa out the water, man. I got a new app from Oakland. Lokeisha. Yeah. She be coming with that ribs. And, hey, Lokeisha, what's up? <clears throat> what's up? You better pay the bill. They almost turned the bitch off this month. No. Don't be tripping. Just shut up. Oh, what you want? Tell me how to get to the opera. Take 101 Fell Street, go 250 feet, look for my cousin Ray Ray at the crap game, and he'll direct you the rest of the way. <laughs> hey, cool, Lokeisha, how about a blowjob tonight? Hmm, not for free. You better bring me back some chicken, some Hennessy, and some weed, and I'll think about it, okay? <laughs> Lokeisha coming to Apple Store near you, broke motherfucker. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Fuck that. I've been on BET, HBO, I've been in movies of Robin Williams, Eddie Murphy, James Franco, but fuck that. I'm in a place where people are sitting on haystacks in Sassoon Valley. <laughs> my career is going straight to the fucking top. Wait till I tell my manager this. Guess where I was tonight? Yes! We had an audience sitting on haystacks and some horsies. <laughs> and some ghost people back there smoking weed and not sharing it. You selfish motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm just glad to be here because the good Lord did never be me. I'll say my wife, we, we did break up and it was my fault, so she took me back. But we did get divorced because I had a cocaine problem. And I'm not ashamed to say it, the good Lord delivered me. This is my 1,000, no, 2,000. 375th day cocaine free, so I feel good to be able. Oh, thank y'all. That's so nice of y'all. So hold it. Before you clap too much, I should tell you, them days ain't all in a row. <laughs> I got to wrap this shit up. I got to get to Oakland. <laughs> Look at Ron. Let's go. I'm sorry you helped that crackhead. <laughs> No, I quit 12 years ago, man, and my wife had left me, bless her heart, because, you know, Mike, I don't tell people how to live, but cocaine will screw up your sex life, bro. Don't do it. <laughs> don't bring cocaine into the bedroom, bro, because, Ron, you can never have regular sex on cocaine. You think of the most bizarre ways to have sex, but it don't even make no sense. You be out of your mind, froze, talking some bullshit like this. Hey, look at your gun, so I want you to do. Can I check this shit out? Okay, get that hero sandwich out the refrigerator, right? All right, all right, stick that in your coochie. Now, grease that six inch the little hill, stick it in your ass. Okay, you got the hill in your ass, you got the sandwich in your coochie. Now, pour that Hershey chocolate down your back, and when the chocolate in the sandwich, I'm gonna take a bite, do a 360, and yell, yeah, Elba, Elba, do! Then I'm going to swing from the chandelier, jump out the window, run around the house ten times, jump back in the window, say, yabba yabba do again, swing on the chandelier, do a backbend, and come on your titties. <laughs> so I was divorced. None of this is true. These are all jokes. All right, well, this is an awkward segue, but I'm a religious person. Look at my chair, buddy. <laughs> the church of bullshit. That's what you were. I don't know. I go to church, but I stop going. Do you ever run into the church hypocrites? I can't. You know, I don't tell people.
people how to live. God, you have a re- and I hate those church hypocrites. You know the ones that when they say this shit to you, it drives me crazy. How you doing? Blessed and highly favored. The subject being, you going to hell, you crack smoking motherfucker. You know those people? And they say the most vile shit to you, but then they use the Jesus disclaimer. You know what I'm talking about? They will say, like, she be in a, a sister Earlene be in a church, she'd be out, pick him, hi, how are you doing? And then she'd be going into that ventriloquism. Look at that bitch, I can't stand that. Huh? Mm-hmm. Stitches showing in her wig. Look at the heels, all one of them hoses she got on. I tell you, she's a prostitute. She trying to sleep with everybody, hugging and her. Oh, the good Lord, going to have some judgment on that bitch. She going to walk outside, trip off the curb in them raggedy asshole shoes, get hit by a car, and struck by lightning. But Jesus knows my heart. <laughs> Y'all been a lot of fun. I'm John Lacey. Good night.